in the form section we also have uh, interesting information you can edit you can preview the form as we have done many times you can replace the form with a with a newer file like we can do also from the from the initial window but you can like upload from a new excel form that you have if you want uh, you can share you can clone so a lot of these things are in different places clone and share manage translations even it's in uh, it's it's in uh, here too um, i'm going to stop a little bit in here manage translation each form can be in one or several languages um, i'm going to delete the the language that i created before here and um, here i I have created English as the default language. So I can add another language here if I want, for example, French and add code FR. This is caps, caps sensitive. So if you put English or French, do it always with capitals or without, keep it, uh, keep it like that. So you can add different languages and then you can make this language default. Now it's in English. We like this one, so we can close here. And when we do that, we have two languages in our form. We can also see here uh, the full history of of our of our deployments. So we have deployed ten different forms. Usually, you don't do that much, but I have done like a lot of tests and dummy things. And you can go back and get the 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 form for this particular one like i mean yeah, you can clone it as a new one and, and thus you can get the the excel form that created this uh, this form and here it talks to you also about uh, how to collect data there is one two three four five six six tabs five of them are to collect data the other one is only to view so we can start by the simplest one is using the Android application. So it gives you here, go to here, go to Cobo Collect, is the link. You click on settings, you add this and this and this, and then get data. And then you can download Cobo Collect. We'll go through that later on when, when we talk in video, I think it's six, um, in video six, how to set up the terminals. We'll do that. And then uh, next one is view only. So in view only, if you copy, or if you open, it brings you to a website where you can preview the form. You can send this website to somebody and somebody can preview it and say, I like this part and I don't like this other one, but they don't enter data here. If you send them, for example, embed web, uh, sorry, uh, online only single submission, this one, they need to have internet to open and send the information. If not, the information gets stored until the next time. Um, but this is actual submission. So I can I can submit like dummy data here. And this data will actually be, I'm going to put this in Madrid, for example. The tree number is this one. And then this, 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 and then I can get this one, this one, this one. The, a lot of the questions are not compulsory, so send. And then th this means that this has been already submitted. We will see the submission later on in the data. And um, so this is for one submission, but maybe somebody has like a pile of papers and want to submit sim several of them at the same time and maybe it doesn't have internet all the time so you can use this one online offline multiple submission or online only multiple submission if they have always internet so for example in this one you can copy and send the link or you can open the link and people will if whoever you send this they can they can do several submission at the time and then they will be queued here and then here in now, okay, this is the newest version. So they, they said that you should refresh for the new one. And here it's uh, it seems this form is able to launch offline. 
So even when you don't have offline, if you if you if you save this website as a bookmark, done, you can open it. You have here the small parentheses here, and then this is in Spanish because my Windows is in Spanish apparently. So you will have here the queue. How many registers do you have in the queue? And you can send the data, or you can even export the data as a in, in, in a pen drive and doing a little bit of a trick you can put it into Kobo but you will have to be a bit crafty on this one there is a way to do it um, apart from this those are the, the, the ways to, to enter all the data and I think that's it for, for this